Hey, so today I'm going to be doing a DIY video. I will be attempting to dye this white fur coat orange. <laughs> you heard it right, that is what we are going to attempt to do today. <laughs> For this New Year's Eve, me and my best friend Joe will be going, we'll be spending it in London as he lives in London and we are going to be going to this amazing mansion party and it's going to be full of fire dancers and crazy events and DJs and magic and it's going to be great but I'm going to be wearing this silk teal two-piece which is absolutely fabulous, it's from Nasty Gal, Nasty Girl, Nasty Gal however you want to say it, it's from there and I'm really really excited to wear it, it's the most beautiful colour I've like ever seen, it's my favourite colour and I'm really excited to wear it and we, I wanted to do something a bit more funkier with like the pairing of that so instead of just wearing like a black fur or even a white fur I wanted to do orange because if you watched my last haul video you would have seen that I got them bright orange uh, like booty sort of heels from Zara not actually from Zara I thrifted them but you know what I mean so yeah I wanted to wear an orange fur coat because I think that would just look absolutely insane and crazy and amazing and fabulous which is the vibe that we are going for. I did find an orange fur in Urban Outfitters but it was £86. I do, I did take a photo of it so I will insert it somewhere on the screen. It is absolutely stunning, a really gorgeous colour but I really can't afford £86 on an orange fur coat, like I'm just not gonna, I don't have that money. <laughs> I wish I did, I would definitely be giving them my money if I had that, but I don't, so we're gonna have to try and attempt to do it ourselves. <laughs> I got this white fur coat from eBay, it was £7, uh, I think it's originally from New Look, but yeah, it's just like polyester, you know, fake faux fur. And I started doing some research into dyeing fur. So I got this dye online, it is the I Dye Poly. So I was looking on YouTube and there's a couple of people who dye like synthetic wigs. So, you know, fake hair basically, which is kind of what faux fur is. That's my thought process behind it anyway. So I went online, there is a fabric dye uh, website in the UK that you can buy all the different fabric dyes on there. It's actually really good, it helps you with what fabric, what colour you're dyeing and you can do it in like sections like that. So it was really, really helpful when trying to pick. But they've just, so the I Dye collection have lots of different ones for uh, different fabrics but then they just brought out a polyester one too because I think polyester is quite difficult to get right when dyeing, I think for vibrancy and things like that. And we want vibrant, okay? We want bright orange. So I'm going to be attempting to do that and you're gonna come with me, I guess. It's not really anywhere, just down to my kitchen because we need to use the stove. And if you want to see this either really good turn out or absolute disaster, then let's get to it. I 
Okay, so it's the next day now because that took longer than expected and then it was like night time and the lighting was bad, etc, etc. So, the end results. Not quite what I wanted to go for, but pleasantly surprised. It turned out this sort of baby peachy colour, which I think is stunning. I absolutely adore it. It's really unique i really really like it um the fur didn't you know fuck up or anything which i was really worried about i have brushed it through quite a few times and probably brush it a couple more times just to make sure it's like all fluffed out so just to recap on what i used i used the eye dye poly in the color orange <laughs> And yeah, it didn't protect, I mean, it's meant to come out neon -y orange, so it was meant to be true to colour, which we can confirm it didn't. <laughs> I used two packets, and two colour intensifiers, and this is 100% polyester, the inside, and the fur I think is 80%, which it said it should have taken right really well. Um, I obviously boiled the big pot of water, transferred it straight away into the tub, because I thought it would be easier to move around i probably left it and mixed it around for maybe 20 minutes it's just a boil for half an hour i just didn't want the fur to to melt off or anything but no the first like is fine it's just the color is peachy pink actually i'm gonna put it on hold on this what do you think i mean i think the color is so stunning it's such a pretty peach color um, and look, obviously pink, pink flowers are everywhere in the stores at the moment. My little sister just got a bright hot pink one from Topshop and it was like 70 quid. So seven pound plus a pack of three of these are 13 quid. So, you know, a lot much, <laughs> a lot less than what she paid. And this is really unique, you know, no one else is going to have this colour, so no complaints. But obviously I will now be on the hunt for an orange fur to wear for New Year's Eve. So that was my next mission for the day, I guess. Um, but yeah, I really like it. And that is my attempt at dyeing this fur coat orange. It worked a little bit, but altogether it wasn't the best success. But I hope you liked my video and I hope you to see you again.